Hey, cheer up, it's not that crappy. If you assume it, your life goal to convert into a rainbow, you dare not be disappointed once I stuff you into this hole. This is where we take your taxes, where we make the weather wanted. We're not chemists, so don't ask us how this method got so vaunted. This job does not need a degree, that is how they got stuck with me. I need this for healthcare, you see, so I can afford therapy. Man, there is a good reason, but that don't tell them nothing. Uh, what do you mean? I need the freaking health benefits. That's it? What about the history? The history is that I can't go back to 11.25 an hour because I eat too much fast food and it's really hard to pay my bills. Okay, I'll admit that they usually say you should do it for the love of the job and not for the money, but the economy is really rough right now and this was the best I could get. You know what? Forget you. I'm gonna explain a Lucino style. Listen up, kids. Let's go back to a thousand years ago. Everything you know is owned by Celestia. The tiny blade of grass that fed on the sun, the tiny grasshopper that fed on the grass, the snake in the grass that fed on the grasshopper, the holy evil government owned by Celestia. All things trod beneath an iron hoof, united, divided, divided by Celestia. All hail humbly to the mighty god, until one day, then came the war. Nightmare moon swept from the sky, lasers from her eyes and teeth like knives. The power of our god was simply not enough to overcome her sister. The worm had sacrificed a piece of her mind to the dark gods for deeds unkind. Hope seemed lost until the time that Celestia developed a plan. Which one power to retain the rest? Sacrifice in turn was the gist. Is so many, what was one? This foul war must be done. It must be something she could do without. A superfluous power that she could leave out. She pervaded them all and made her decision. She rested her choice, her prismatic precision. No more rainbows was her decree. Equestrious ponies would pay this fee. But petty politics on another route. The electorate could not do without. So the duty fell to the Pegasi. And when they found a solution, they began to cry. Oh, no. We can't procure pigments without grinding our youth into a fine mist of color. And that is the truth. But our pleas for a free fell upon deaf ears. And the exit polls showed our greatest fears. We must make rainbows. There wasn't a choice. The phone has left ponies smothered our voice. So, we built a machine.